Let's jump on in, coming to a comfortable seat. So if you'd like to be a little closely connected to the earth, coming to a seat on the earth. If you'd like to remain in a chair, sitting comfortably in a chair. Um, let's all try to feel that even weight through both sits bones as you connect. And if you're in a chair, bottoms of the feet equally rooted, equally grounded, all together taking hands to the tops of the thighs. So we're gonna start with a breathing technique that brings more consciousness to how the breath is flowing at a single point in the body. So in this case, the nostrils. Um, when we meditate, for example, it's really important to have what we know of as anchors. So this is an anchor that we can use to establish deeper connection with the present moment and how we're being very mindful in what is happening in the present moment through sensation, for example. So as we breathe in and out, we're gonna keep this focus center at the nostrils. And it's a really great and powerful way if we are feeling scattered to come to this example of a breathing technique that can really hone us back into the present moment. So let's start either coming to a place where the eyes are softened and closed, or you can allow the gaze to be open, your choice. And we're just gonna begin by taking a resetting breath. So inhale, filling the lungs. And exhale, open mouth. And beginning this exploration of being the witness to your breath at the tip of the nose. So this single focus of what's happening as we breathe in through the nostrils and what's happening as we breathe out through the nostrils. How would you Describe the sensation of the air flowing in. And how would you describe it as the airflow moves out through the nostrils? So it's possible that that sensation might feel a little drier, a little cooler on the in-breath. You may relate if the out breath feels a little warmer, maybe a little more humid. And as much as we can, staying centered at this single point of focus of breath as it moves in through the nostrils, as it moves out through the nostrils. Containing a sense of curiosity, almost as though we're experiencing this awareness to breath for the first time. What does it feel like? What is the experience like? And on your next Inhale, see if you can suspend, elongate that inhale a little longer. Notice if that changes the experience of sensation in any way. And on your next exhale, same thing, seeing if you can elongate the exhale, noticing if at all that changes the sensation and experience in some way. And we'll inhale, Fill up the breath all the way to the collarbone. And then exhale, open mouth. All right, your choice. If the eyes were closed, you can remain with the eyes closed or beginning to flutter them open. Starting to feel the right ear start to fall over to the right shoulder. So we're beginning to stretch into the left side of the neck becoming more accustomed to sensation in that area. And now we're gonna to start to create some head rolls. So allow the head to fall back in space. Eventually the left ear comes closer to the left shoulder and then eventually the chin comes closer to the chest. 
So very slow circles as we start to tune in to new sensation at the side of the neck, the back of the neck, front of the throat. And trying to do about five cycles. So just taking your time, you no know, rush, just in the moment of being and body and this awareness of the spaces all around the neck. And then when you've completed that fifth round, start to feel the left ear fall over to the left shoulder and just take a moment to pause there. Feeling, breathing into the sensation of the right side of the neck. And just as we did on the right side, we're going to start to feel the head fall back in space and then we're reversing the circles. So just as we did on the right side, no need to rush. It's almost like we can try to pretend like we're giving ourselves this vacation, nothing else to do but just simply be here in this exploration of our own bodies, our own breath as it supports our movement. And again, seeing where you can establish about five circles to the left to balance it out. And then once you've completed that fifth round, slowly bring the head back to center. Okay, now we're going to take the hands to the low back. So ideally the fingers are going to be pointing down as we feel the palms resting at the low back. And then from there, start to roll the shoulders open. So we're bringing a lot of openness and expansion to the front of the heart. So as a general rule, when the body is feeling a little dull, things like heart openers like this one are really beneficial for bringing a little more life and energy into our bodies. So continue to feel into that and then just drop the chin towards the chest. So that'll give you a nice little back of the neck stretch. Then we're gonna take a full breath in and how? Exhale, open mouth. Let's take one more like this, inhale. And exhale, very nice. Slowly lifting the head, we'll remove the hands. Let's rise together, coming up to standing. All right, focusing on the neck for this sequence even more. So standing, coming to that place where we're evenly rooted through both feet, hips with distance. We're gonna take the left hand and arm behind and then with that right wrist, you're gonna grab for the left wrist. Now you should start to feel the hands at the low back and then start to pull just gently. You don't need to <laughs> force it, but just pull gently the um, left wrist closer, trying to reach the right hip. It might get there, it might not. Just trying to see if you can feel a little bit of that, what we call max, so that place where we can't pull anymore, but we've reached the limit. And then just start to feel the right ear come closer to the right shoulder. Yeah. And then continuing to see that you can straighten as much as you can the left arm. I know it's a lot. It's a lot of sensation in this area. Taking one more inhale. Good. And then slowly coming out. If you need to do a couple side to side. Head rockings can feel nice and then we're going to start to take the right arm behind so taking that left wrist grabbing for the right wrist and then pulling the um, right wrist as close as you can to the left hip so what we also don't want to happen is to have the rest of the body move we're just bringing this micro isolated movement just to feel a little bit of a stretch and a resistance and then this time we're going to start to feel the left ear fall over to the left shoulder. So really deep, full, fluid breath to the right side of the body as we're doing this. Good. Let's take one more inhale and exhale. And again, if you'd like to do maybe even some circles in the head and the neck, that can feel nice as a way to reset. 
All right, now start to bring the right foot forward. We're trying to find about three to four feet, again, just depending on your body. And we're trying to line up the left toe with the inner part of the right heel. And then we're gonna bring the hands to the hips, just a slow, deep bend in the right knee. And then we're gonna bring some bends to the back leg. So we're getting into the calf area now. So start to bend in the back knee. Hopefully we're feeling some sensation activate through the back of the leg here. Now take an inhale to straighten, maybe you might be down on that left heel. If you're not, no need to push that either. We're just trying to feel that sensation of stretch in the back hamstring and then exhale bending in the back knee. Good. Again, inhale, straighten and exhale, bend. Great, let's do one more. Inhale, straighten and exhale, bend. We'll just pause here in the bend for a moment. We'll take one more inhale and one more exhale. Pause in the straighten, one more inhale and one more exhale. Very nice. Let's switch it up. So bringing the left foot forward, we're gonna bring the right foot back. Try to keep the hips as square as possible, bringing the hands to uh, the tops of the hips and then a slight bend in the left knee. And then just starting by feeling into that sensation of the right leg straight behind you. And then just a micro bend in the back knee. Hopefully we're starting to feel it in the calf. All right, and let's begin. So inhale, straightening the right leg as much as you can, just your max, and then exhale, bending. Again, inhale, try, maybe that back heel comes a little closer to the earth, and exhale, micro bend. We'll take one more, inhale, good, and exhale, micro bend. All right, and then taking a moment to pause here with the back knee bend, inhale, Exhale, straighten it out, inhale, exhale. Very nice. Coming out of it, both feet evenly rooted. And then we're just gonna test the balance for a moment. So begin to peel up to the tips of the toes. So no rush, engaging through the abdominals, finding a single point of focus. Yeah, and if you fall out, just come right back in. Good, and taking one more inhale. Exhale, slowly bringing the heels down. Let's close the eyes, taking an inhale. And exhale, open mouth. 